Okay, we've done the video in. I'll do the little pointy to build this toy Land Rover. Uh, Ian's going to do a little walk around it now and show you the detail and stuff. And then we're going to talk you through some features, um, how to use it, what it does, and stuff like that. Um, so the detail is pretty good. It's got all the little alloys and the fuel cap. And, and um, let's start by, by doing some of the bits that move in. So you can open the rear the rear tailgate. I've forgotten which way you've got to push those. Push those in. Yeah, if you push those in there, you can drop the tailgate. It would have been nice if they had some little straps, some little chain or something. Obviously you've got this rear sort of bulkhead there for strength, but that's a nice little touch. The rear lights don't work. Uh, but obviously we, you saw in the assembly we fitted the mud flaps and the rear step. Again, I wouldn't really recommend standing on that. Um, you've got this little fake exhaust over here which is cool. Let me go on to the interior. You've got your adjustable headrests that are padded. You've got the seats and there's a little lever down here that if you push it down you can actually slide each seat individually. I think the seat belts are... but you can slide them forward. Maybe you're supposed to slide them both forward actually. Let me have a look. Push that one up. Push it down. There we go. But they do slide backwards and forwards. Like so. So depending on the length of your child. The, all you're looking at doing is just one pedal. And if you push it down it goes. If you let off it stops. So that's the controls. Um, Front door's open. Door's open. Now where's the door? There's a little latch on here. There you go. And you just do that. You can see the little latch. And that opens. Um, there's no external opening. But doesn't really apply. Um, you've got mirrors, you can adjust your mirrors, you've got adjustable mirrors so you can see what's going on. Obviously you've got the steering at the front, you've got the front mud flaps, the windscreen's plastic, the wipers don't do anything. You've got the bonnet that opens up to reveal the battery inside. And it's just on a little sort of pop, it's just got these little popper clips. There's the battery inside, the charge that point is here. Pull right forward and lean back. Lean back, so if you want to work on it, I'll put your bits and pieces in there. That's that. It's got the later style Puma bonnet with the bold. It's got the later style Defender lettering. You've got all the headlights. You've got the Land Rover logos. It's all licensed. This, this is all plastic. All the body is plastic, as you'd imagine. The lights are plastic. Um, right, if we turn it on, let's have a look what happens then. So, basically the controls. So, this is your master control. With this off, nothing's happening. When you press that, it lights up. This is giving you your battery voltage. It wants to be above 12, really, or you'll need to charge it up. So we've got a good 12.6. Right, okay, now what can we do? Um, the horn doesn't work until you turn the audio system on. So if I just flick the switch there, the audio system comes on. You'll notice the, the dials, it makes a noise there. Well, it's like and then it's, cuts out again instantly. Yeah. It sounds like a typical Land Rover. <laughs> Defender, yeah. Um, so there's the horn. Now you can actually adjust the volume. Ian worked out. How do you do the volume? Um, so you've got a series of buttons and you have to hold the... Plus one down? Yeah, hold that one. Let's hold it. Oh, yeah, and go. is that 26, 30? Yeah, it's a max. It's a max. So. Oh, we're rocking that now. Um, you got. You can play music. So you've got a, a USB here. Um, you can also put an SD card in here, and there's also an auxiliary in. Is that this one here, Ian? Yeah. But that's a, that must be a mini USB to You need to get the right cable for that. It doesn't come with it. Um, but it's also got Bluetooth. So if you change the mode here, so at the moment it's on line in for music. Oh, that's Bluetooth. So on Bluetooth, if you go on your phone, um, you can actually pair it with your phone. Now let me just delete it, and I'll show you how we do that. So if you go onto your phone and go Bluetooth uh, and go down to the bottom, it's searching for new devices and you should get P9, I can't read it, 19. P19 BT we've got coming up. Okay, and then if you do that, it should connect and then it will move up to the top here. Um, it wants to get my contacts, I don't think we need that, don't allow. Um, and then it's moved from the bottom up to the top here and it says connected. So when you've got that, we should then be able to... Um, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a YouTube video up of car noises, just to demonstrate it. I don't know if you can hear there, us playing. So we'll stop that. 
But yeah, obviously music. Now the other thing that happens is the other it's got some memory stored in it, hasn't it? So if I just go to mode, how are you getting those tunes to play? So you want yeah, that A V line, then you press the other steering wheel button. Yeah, this was There you go. And then what happens is that you get some lights coming on the front and also we've got the We've got now the lights, I don't know if you notice the main lights at the front, as soon as you turn the audio system on, the lights. So if your dash lights are on, your headlights should be on. on. So when you turn that audio system, they come on. Now, um, yeah, so I think we've covered everything. And then remote control. Oh, remote control. Let's, let's do the remote control. So this one we haven't tried out we yet. We haven't tried out yet, but um, you've got to put some batteries in the back. The two AA batteries go in like so. Right, now apparently to pair it, um, ooh, let me get the cover back on. How do you get the cover back on here? Let's beat me. I can't help you with that one. Can't it's I a know. cover. It's a cover. You've just built a defender. Oh, we've got there a we ring, go. ring. Right, now apparently this ZZ button here, if you press and hold this, it should, it should stop flashing and go solid apparently. Is that it? Is that it? Seems it. it. it, seems it, it. Seems it. it's gone solid. Right, and then let go, and it flashed. Right, now let's see if we can then control it. I think you've got a lock and unlock button there. Where's that? Um, that bottom one, sir. So. Oh, where, where that's gone? Oh, look. I've got... I don't know what the top button does. No. That's doing something, yeah. Are you locked now? Try unlocking it again. Try that one. Ah. There we go. So yeah, you've got a lock and an unlock button. Our, our highly polished floor it needs some help yeah. with. Whoa, look at that. We could use this for moving stuff around the yeah, warehouse. Yeah. Ian, cup of tea please. There you go. Oh, it's, it's drifting Ian. So what else can we do with it? Yeah, apparently this one is, oh, I think this is the speed perhaps it goes at. Okay. One, two, let's try it on speed. Oh, no, I don't. So that's locked. So oh, that's locked. You, you've locked yourself out of it, oh. so you have to press the unlock button and then you've got control again. Yeah. So there we go, the hours, to be, hours are fun to be had. I think it's more better outdoors. Oh no, oh, crash. Right. Anyway, so there we go. So that's available from Britpart. We might put them on the website if people want them. Um, we've put the Britpart uh, stickers on. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of fun to be had with one of those. Don't use in traffic.
that you can pull round, and then if you want to put it back in the shed or the garage, you can just wing it along, which makes it a bit easier to, to move about. No, well, I think it's if your battery dies yeah. and your steering wheel is stuck at a certain angle, you can just use those little wheels, it doesn't matter then. You can just use them. Alright, we've got to put them on charge now. Let's get them on charge.